Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shay and I'm back with another quick and easy recipe for you guys. <sighs> Obviously, your girl does not look like this in the kitchen. I'm actually headed out to a friend's birthday party, so I decided to stop in and show my face. Uh, today on the menu, we have a shrimp boil. Uh, it has potatoes and corn and sausage and all that good stuff. Um, it was delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into the video. <music> Okay, so I went ahead and I prepped all my ingredients for my shrimp boil. I have potatoes, corn, um, some onions, garlic, a scotch bonnet pepper, the sausage, the shrimp, of course, and a bunch of seasonings and butter. Okay, so we're going to start off by seasoning our shrimp. I have some onion powder, garlic powder. A Cezanne season seasoned pack, black pepper, and some Obey seasoning. Um, you don't want to season your shrimp too much because with the sauce that we're going to make, it has a lot of seasoning in there and you don't want it to be too salty. So you're going to add about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of each of these seasonings. So I added my garlic, my onion, my black pepper. And now I'm adding um, a half pack of that Cezanne seasoning and a little Obey. And I also added a little avocado oil and I'm just going to go ahead and mix that all in. And I'm going to let that marinate for a little while, while I move on to my potatoes. So my water is already boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes to the pot. I want to add that first because the potatoes do take a longer time to cook. And I like my corn a little bit more firm. So I want to wait a little bit until those potatoes are halfway cooked then add my corn and also I added some eggs to the pot and I'm going to cover that and let it boil for about between 7 to 10 minutes then come back and add my corn okay so I'm getting started with my sauce first I gotta blend my seasonings I have my onion and garlic I had it a half an onion and about 10 cloves of garlic and uh, a scotch bonnet pepper and I'm also going to add a little bit of water and I'm just gonna blend that because I want my onions and my garlic to still have a little bit of chunk in there you don't want it to be too thin you want that perfect consistency because it's gonna help to thicken your sauce Then I'm going to move on to melting my butter. Um, I just use a spoon of butter. Uh, you can use it like a stick of butter or less if you want. It's really up to you the amount of butter that you want to use. You can use as much or as little as possible. And um, I'm going to just let that melt. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and check on my potatoes. So I just sticked a fork in it and um, it seems like it was almost cooked. So I went ahead and added my corn to the pot. And I'm going to just cover that and let it cook for another five minutes or so. Okay. 
Now back to my sauce. My butter is nicely melted. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all that blended season that I have. You see that thick consistency? That's going to help to thicken your sauce. You want to just stir that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my the rest of my onions that I chopped up. And I'm going to let that cook for a couple minutes until my onions are translucent. Okay, so my butter sauce has been cooking for about five minutes. My onions are softening. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. I'm going to add some Old Bay, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And also the other half of my Sazam season pack. And that's really it. I don't add a lot of seasonings. I keep it to the basics because you don't need all of that seasoning. It's enough flavor with the onion and the garlic and that um, scotch bonnet pepper gives it that kick. And that's all the seasoning you need. I'm also going to add a half of a lemon and about a quarter cup of water. I just put it, the water in that same container I had my seasons in. So it picked up all that good stuff that was left behind. I'm going to let that cook for another 15 minutes. Now I'm checking on my potatoes and corn. You just need a fork and you just stick it into your potatoes and if it goes in nicely and easily, then it is all done and you just turn your stove off. Okay, so now I'm moving on to cooking my shrimp. Um, it's one of the easiest steps. It cooks in like four minutes, um, two minutes on each side. So I just went ahead and put some butter in that pot, get it nicely melted. You just want to go ahead and add your shrimp to the pot. As I said before, you just cook it for two minutes on one side and then you flip it and cook it for another two minutes on the other side. All right, so my shrimp is all done, and I'm gonna just go ahead and remove that from the pot. And now I'm gonna make my sausage in that same pan. I just added a little butter and then I'm going to just throw my sausage in there. It takes a couple minutes to cook also. It's pretty much already cooked. I just put it in there for a little color. Make it nice and brown. So you just cook it on one side for a couple minutes and then you flip it and you cook it on the other side. And there we have it, our sausage is all done. It has some nice color on there. I go ahead and I remove that from my pot. And now my sauce should be ready. Mm, it looks amazing, tastes even better. 
I'm going to go ahead and plate this up for you guys. And there we have it. Our beautiful shrimp boil with potatoes, corn, sausage, eggs, a little lemon there. Because what seafood without lemon? And I nicely garnished it with some parsley. And now I'm just drizzling that tasty sauce all over it. And of course I have extra sauce for my dipping. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shay and I'm back with another quick and easy recipe for you guys. You... Ooh, ooh, ooh.